All over the world, human beings are vulnerable to risk. Disasters such as floods, droughts, fires and accidents all threaten human life. One of the most common ways of protecting against risks such as these is insurance. The concept of insurance is that many people pay money in one pot. And when tragedy strikes, they can be compensated out of this pot. Unfortunately, the vast majority of East Africans have little or no understanding of this concept. I've heard about insurance from advertisements on TV and on radio, but I do not understand it in detail. Why should I invest uh, my 10,000 insuring myself while I've got kids? I can invest this money somewhere at the end of the year. I'll have made something out of 10,000. We small business dealers, we lack knowledge on insurance matters. We are really behind. I would love to insure my business, but with my small capital up to 300,000 shillings, I see no reason to insure. At the 8th International Microinsurance Conference in Dar es Salaam, insurance specialists from all over the world met to discuss how they can promote their products better among its low-income earners. So we understand that the uh, people in the low income bracket, uh, you know, have got various economic activities. Some are farmers, some are, are entrepreneurs doing uh, their, their small businesses, and we want to introduce products that cater for, for, for every category in, uh, in, uh, in, in the low income uh, bracket. One form of insurance that is definitely useful to everyone is health insurance. Those who have health insurance don't have to worry about paying for the treatment when they need it. Previously, when I used to get sick, I stayed home. But now that I have health insurance, I simply just walk into the doctor's room and I get treated. The good thing about health insurance is that even when my child gets sick and I'm not at home, anyone available can take them to hospital and they get treated. For those who don't have health insurance, it is a different story. It has happened to me over 10,000 times. I would get sick and I cannot get treatment because I do not have the money to pay for it. One of the greatest challenges that insurance companies face is winning the trust of the people they need to serve. But when you are involved in an accident, for example, when you want to be compensated, the process is too long. There's still um, a lot of bureaucracies involved when one seeks compensation. Some companies have already realized the problem and are now working on solutions. We need to put more emphasis on claims payment because the point where you can meet with these people is on the time when you want to pay the claims or when someone uh, gets into an accident uh, and the only way you can uh, meet these poor people is when the accident occurs. But still, not everybody is happy with the insurance services. Insurance companies should be straightforward. Just say this is what you cover and avoid loopholes in the agreement. Because most of the time you get insurance and then you discover there are so many loopholes, you don't get the service you expected. I've seen so many people with a car accident and whatever, when they get uh, accident or, and whatever, including myself, it has happened to me. The compensation comes in a very, very difficult way, and sometimes you might not be compensated at all. When we talk on insuring, there is a principle of at most good faith. That's at most good faith sets on both sides, on the insurer as well on the insured. The insurer needs to tell what he or she is supposed to do at the time of a claim. So these people need to be very well educated that if the claim happens, they are supposed maybe to report to the police, to go to the hospital, get all documentation, and defend the claim. Fulfilling all these requirements is very difficult for the less educated low-income earners. If micro-insurances are to help fight poverty, they cannot simply be smaller versions of the traditional insurance schemes. And microinsurance, since I've been doing it, when I go back and talk to colleagues in the regular insurance industry and I talk about what microinsurance is, they say, oh, that's what insurance is about. 
people that are involved in regular insurance uh, just think this is all to make money and, and they forget what the real social purpose of insurance is and the impact, the real impact it has on, on people's families. If the number of low-income households in Africa that have insurance is to increase, there is still much to be learned by both insurance companies and the people to whom they are trying to sell their policies.